So now we will be defining the loads. So first we will be defining self weight and superimposed at load. We will go to loads, static load cases. So we will first give the static load case names. For self weight we will give the name self weight. And the type we will keep it as construction stage load. So all the loads which we will be adding in construction stages, the type we will keep it as construction stage load. Add it and then where it goes, then SIDL crunch barrier and then pre stressing loads. So pre stress, add temperature rise, type will be temperature load, add it. And then we'll add temperature fall case. Then we'll be adding the positive temperature gradient load. We'll change the type to temperature gradient and add it. Then we'll add negative temperature gradient and add it. And we can close this. Then for applying self weight, we'll go to this self weight command. Here we'll select the load case name as self weight, load group name as SW, and then we'll scroll down in Z direction. We'll give the factor minus one in the vertical direction, and we we'll click on add. So self weight gets assigned. And close this. We can see the assignment in the works menu over here. Further, we'll be defining element beam loads. So I'll click on element beam loads over here. Select the load case name as IDL varying course. Select the load group name as SIDL. Scroll down. Put the intensity of load as minus 16.5 kN per meter. You should be careful about the units. And then we can select the superstructure elements. So Select the superstructure elements and click on apply. So this load gets applied. Then we can click on this initial view. So the load is undisplayed. Then you can scroll up. Select the load case name SIDL crash barrier. Load group name we can leave it as SIDL only. Then we scroll down. So now if I just show you hidden view, we view it from the left side. So SIDL loading will be acting on the transverse edges of the box. So we will give the eccentricity in local y direction. We we'll click on offset. So from the center line, the offset will be till the edge. It's going to be 4.05 meters. And then I'll scroll down and input the intensity minus 8 kN per meter. And select the superstructure elements. You can click on this icon, select previous. So all the beams will get selected. And then we can click on apply. So this way, you can see the SIDL load is applied on one edge. Then again, we can just change the eccentricity to minus 4.25. And again, we can just select the previously selected beams and we click on apply. So this is the second crash barrier load which gets applied.